Hi, my name is Marcel Gosen and I'm a PhD student at Bauhaus University in Weimar, Germany. I present the joint work with my colleagues Matthias Hagen, Martin Potterst and Benno Stein titled Paraphrase Acquisition from Image Captions. Paraphrasing continues to be an important NLP task, especially with the rise of generative AI models. For training or fine-tuning effective paraphrasing models, large sets of paraphrases are usually helpful. However, manual acquisition of human paraphrases is expensive to scale. Distantly supervised acquisition methods usually achieve better scaling. One common method is pivoting, which in terms of paraphrasing means to use a pivot medium to find equivalent texts. This method was proposed by Bennett and Callison Birch, who used parallel corpora to find phrases that are translated into the same phrase in a pivot language. Similarly, Lan et al. used URLs in tweets to identify semantically equivalent texts. In our proposed approach, we used images as the pivot medium. In this example, we see identical images in different Wikipedia articles. The image captions naturally form a set of mutual paraphrases. Thus, we propose to mine image captions of equivalent images from web resources as a new paraphrase acquisition method. As a proof of concept, we use Wikipedia to construct a dataset consisting of caption pairs that form paraphrases. Images in Wikipedia very often have captions. Captions can appear in the info box of an article, in an image box within an article, and in many other places. We have tried to cover as many cases as possible to have as many captions as possible at our disposal. Therefore, we also considered alternative texts in our acquisition pipeline. Although they are not meant to represent captions, its purpose is to describe the shown content for cases where the image cannot be displayed properly. This makes them also interesting for our paraphrase acquisition method. Icons, symbols and pictograms are usually provided with a trivial caption or no caption at all. Hence, we immediately discard these images and their captions. For that, we found that these symbols are much more common in Wikipedia. Therefore, we limit the number of their references to between 2 and 10. Since we want to keep the textual quality high, we discard trivial captions that most likely don't yield interesting paraphrase candidates. So we discard captions that are shorter than 6 words, or only consist of noun phrases. The next step is to cluster all equivalent images and their captions. All images that are used in Wikipedia articles are hosted by Wikimedia Commons. Wikipedia articles refer to these images by their Wikimedia image URL. Wikimedia regularly checks for their users, which you can see on the right, and for duplicates. Thus, the image URL is a sufficient equivalence criterion. Within each cluster of equivalent images, we separate captions and alternative texts. Uh, each combination of captions and each combination of alternative texts form a set of paraphrase candidates. From these sets of paraphrase candidates, we discard duplicates and near duplicates, which only differ in casing, punctuation or bracket expressions. The remaining paraphrase candidates form our Wikipedia IPC dataset. We distinguish three different quality levels for our paraphrases in the dataset based on different mining pipelines. Gold quality paraphrases are caption pairs, which are grammatically correct sentences only and are mined from the Wikipedia dump without revision history of articles. The gold quality dataset consists of roughly 30,000 caption pairs. Silver quality paraphrases also allow for captions which are sentence fragments. With these, we found around 230,000 caption pairs. For bronze quality paraphrases, we incorporate Wikipedia articles revision history. We found that these have a lot of similar captions, which is why we define them to be of bronze quality. Of these, we have around 657,000. 
To understand the semantic and syntactic properties of image captions as paraphrases, we run a quantitative similarity analysis to compare the similarity of our acquired paraphrase pairs with similarities of paraphrases from state-of-the-art datasets on multiple similarity dimensions. On a lexical and syntactic level, we use Rouge 1, Rouge L, and Bleu. Rouge 1 assesses unigram overlap. Rouge L computes lexical similarity based on the longest common subsequence paradigm, and Bleu is computed up to 4 grams to quantify structural similarity. All three measures have been proposed and evaluated for paraphrase generation and acquisition. On a semantic level, we used the inverse of the word mover distance, bird score, and sentence bird since all correlate well with human judgments. Based on these metrics, we propose a new metric that should judge a paraphrase's sophistication according to these rules. A sophisticated paraphrase is semantically as similar as possible while being syntactically as different as possible. Thus, our new delta metric is the average normalized semantic similarity minus the average normalized syntactic similarity between a pair of mutual paraphrases. For example, we see that the first caption pair is lexically and syntactically quite different by being similar on a semantic level. This results in a delta of 0.54. The second caption pair only differs in one word and is therefore very similar on lexical and syntactic level and obviously very similar semantically as well. This results in a delta of 0. Our results show that the paraphrases in our dataset have very similar syntactic and semantic properties than one of the most commonly used paraphrase dataset, the Microsoft Research Paraphrase Corpus. Moreover, we can see that other caption datasets that offer multiple captions for each image score the highest deltas which further indicate the suitability of image captions as paraphrases. The high syntactic and semantic similarities of these examples from the PAUSE dataset are striking. PAUSE was designed as a benchmark corpus for paraphrase detection and contains lexically similar text pairs with subtle semantic inconsistencies that are difficult to distinguish from actual paraphrases. The high Rouge 1 value of 94% translates to an almost identical wording. Hence, it is no surprise that the delta metric is the lowest out of all paraphrase datasets. In a qualitative similarity analysis, we wanted to further investigate if the used metrics actually quantify what we saw in the previous experiment. For that, we annotated 100 paraphrase pairs each from three datasets with the semantic and syntactic similarity on a 5-point Likert scale with four expert annotators. Here we can see the distribution of the median judgment of the four annotators of the semantic similarity on the x and the syntactic similarity on the y-axis. We can further confirm the different semantic and syntactic similarities between datasets. For the MSRPC and our paraphrases, we can see a more uniformly distributed paraphrases along the main diagonal of semantic and syntactic similarity, while the majority of paraphrases from the Tapaco corpus are semantically close. We can also report high correlation of the chosen similarity metrics with our manual similarity judgments, which indicates their suitability for this experiment. To sum it up, we propose a new distantly supervised paraphrase acquisition approach with uh, which we compiled a new paraphrase dataset with three different quality levels. We suggest a new automatic metric for paraphrase sophistication, the delta sam Sun metric. In the future, we want to apply this paraphrase acquisition pipeline on larger web resources than Wikipedia and incorporate image analysis as an additional image equivalence criterion to mine even more paraphrases from image captions. Our codes and the datasets are publicly available under this URL. Thank you so much for watching.